Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, you know, everybody knows about Oprah Winfrey's Rags to Riches story and and her billionaire success, but there's a lot of shady things that's uh, going around about Oprah Winfrey. And, you know, no one addresses them. You know, we hear about these rumors and uh, some people are saying this and some people are saying that. So today, we're going to address some of those rumors and uh, see if there's any truth in them. Okay? And now... First, I want to tell you, now before we get into this story, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, take this time to hit that subscription button and ring that bell. Now, let's dive into this story. First of all, I want to welcome, we have a guest in the studio today, and it's Brother John. And he's going to help us analyze all these rumors about Oprah Winfrey. And, uh, hello, Brother John. All right. Okay, Brother John, we want to start. I'm going to start first with Oprah and the Maui fires last year. Now, as you all know, on August 8th of last year, the island of Maui was struck by severe wildfires leaving destruction in their wake. Now, hundreds of acres were scorched and many residents faced evacuation and property loss. Now, a lot of uh, the Mauis, well, is that what would you would call the people of Maui? Yeah, they uh, go by, are going to go by Polynesian descent? Polynesian. Yeah. Mm, all of a lot of them were mad at Oprah. And, and for one reason is because they couldn't go on her property to her property is, I don't know how many acres, but uh, it's... Over a thousand. Over a thousand. Just imagine that. Over a thousand. And it's, it's, it's guarded by big fences, so they couldn't get onto her property to get away for one reason. John, can you elaborate, uh, elaborate on uh, this rumor about Oprah and those fires? Um. Well, the first, I mean, first, when you break down anything, you always want to go to the history of right. Maui and Hawaii's history. Mm -hmm. So, going back to Hawaii, a lot of people don't know, but Hawaii was actually never supposed to be a part of the uh, United States. Um, it was actually forced into being a state of Hawaii. It was a king of Hawaii um, named, uh, you know, I don't know the exact name of him right now, but mm -hmm. it was a king of Hawaii. Hawaii was an island. They had their own community, their own, uh, you know, legislative. And um, it was a part, I think it was around actually the 40s, mm -hmm. um, where Hawaii was trying, um, America was trying to get more land. This when they were trying to get oil going into Alaska, different places. And Hawaii was one of the territories that they wanted. Um it was an agreement, and you can look up the agreement. It's you know, it's all factual, but it was an agreement that you know hope that America would help Hawaii with a couple of things they were battling, um, you know, territorial wise, and you you know, just being an ally of Hawaii. Um, you know, after that agreement was struck, you know, a couple of years went by. Hawaii was like, okay, we're ready to, you know, for y'all to move. You know, a lot of the the people who came, you know, soldiers and things, a base. I think they put a base in Hawaii, and America was like, oh uh, no, we're mm. not gonna do that. <laughs> like <laughs> so, they did everything yeah, else, they so, stole it. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna stay here, and uh, y'all gonna be a part of us, uh, and y'all gonna be part of the United States. Mm. You're not gonna be a a. a a country of your own anymore um so that's some of the you know that's some of the history of hawaii like they uh, people who you know basically like like so much of america had their land really take the from up under them right and so a lot of you know we know uh, a lot of you know resorts and it's a travel destination in hawaii so a lot of people not just Oprah, uh, Zuckerberg, a lot right, of people right. have gotten land. Uh, I mean, this is not just, you know, 25, uh, 20, 28, two acres, you know, mm -hmm. 10 acres, which is a lot. If you think about mm -hmm. even 10 acres is a lot. No, this is a thousands of acres of just Hawaii, which is land that they've just been buying up. 
Right. And saying like every time a fire happens, you know, um, when natural disaster happens, you know, people have to move or you know move away, and all of a sudden their land is bought up because right. it's nothing there. <laughs> you know, people need the money and the funds and everything else. So, uh, what happened with this fire is like it, the the surrounding areas of that fire is. It was all on the back score. So, you know, Maui has the resort side, which none of that was really messed uh, with. Mess with. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, because, you know, fire shouldn't have any change of sense of direction. The fire just goes. Right. But the fire really, you know, the local side, it really were the farmers, where the land, where the people who were, you know, the residents been there for years. That was where the fire really hit the hardest. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of people, you know, uh, a lot of people was talking about, well, you know, Oprah, well, this is in Maui now, so Oprah has over a thousand acres of land. Why was none of that land touched by the fire? Right, And so right. that's where people, you know, first thing, that's where you start looking at, you know, conspiracy or kind of like, well, if, you know, if it's a wildfire, none of this was touched and she's been trying to buy more land. Right. And they like, we don't know what's happening on that land. Like, this is... It's like Fort Knox on this land. Like, you can't mm-hmm. get in. You can't see it. You can't right. do a drone past it. Right. You know, right. Uh, you know, it's like a force field around it. Right. Thousands of, thousands of acres of land. You don't even know what's up there. Right. Um, You know, and I think that comes from, you know, when people send stuff like, well, remember, uh, I might be going ahead of myself, but remember when, you know, some things tied in with Oprah and missing kids. Yeah. Like, now we're going to get we, into that, what too. What do we know what's on this land? So a lot of the local people were kind of mad because they're like, this person, somebody who's been not not only bought all this land, but asking to buy more, and she hasn't done anything for it. So that's when she teamed up with... Um, Right, um, Dwayne Johnson, the right, and right. they're saying, "Oh, they're going to invest all these millions of dollars into Maui." Well, right. nobody's seen that money. You know, oh. nobody's seen like, "Oh, you 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 committed to saying like you were going to buy, you're going to help rebuild Maui," and and that's it's like we don't trust it. Why would we trust your money? And we, you know, right. feel like we take your money. You're going to just do what you want to do in the first place was buy our land, right? Right. So, and that's where that. And and I, and I must add that people, some of the Hawaiian natives are on a forty-year-old waiting list for a home that the U.S. government stole from natives over a century ago, and that goes uh, uh, back to what you're saying. And the, the thing that's crazy is uh, that you 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 did mention this, but. Mark Zuckerberg literally bought land that the government promised to be returned to the natives. And now they have to ask his permission to step onto their own sacred land once a month, once a month. (laughs) So that you, you can only imagine how the community feels now. Like you said, Oprah herself addressed the situation when it came up uh, about this theory about Oprah may have been involved in the fires because she wanted to buy more land and wasn't able. And she emphasized her commitment to helping the community recover. And she dispelled myths about her involvement. So, you know, guys, we like. Oh no, Oprah didn't do that. Oprah didn't, but that again, here we have Oprah in the middle of a controversy over land. Now, you know, is this true or is it not true? Well, you be the judge because if you ask Google, they go tell you, no, it's not true. So I'm going to stop saying, hey, you know, I I did a video about uh, Oprah and, uh, you know, when Diddy, I'm getting ahead of myself, too. But when Diddy uh, got arrested, they were saying that Oprah was fleeing the country because she was involved with the sex trafficking. You you know, it's the same. If it's if it's ever a a smoke, there's always a fire. That's right. So with every, you know, like you could say controversy or conspiracy theories and theories. Yes, theories are are 
educated guess, mm-hmm. that, but it's also because of you seeing patterns. You seeing certain things that don't line up. Exactly. And so when you look at a theory, I, I think you know if you listening to this, then obviously you're intrigued about the theory, but you always want to think outside the box. That's right. And want to think like. You know, let me take emotions out of what I tend to believe mm-hmm. and say, well, I don't, for one, I don't know these people. Exactly. Two, I don't know. Just like, you know, a lot of people, you know, call Diddy Nikon a mogul, but it's always been a pattern of things that he's done or things that didn't seem right. Right. In his business function. His name was always called. And the you only know? time we ever hear about things is when you fall from grace. And that's when exactly. the things Exactly. And so, until that, you never know the full story. Exactly. Want you to know the full story. Exactly. So That's the, you know mind. that exactly. And I'm glad you brought that up. That's just like with Bill Cosby. All we knew that he was the great comedian, the great actor, the great Jello pudding, you know. And we didn't know about this uh, rape man. This, uh, <laughs> you know, until he messed up with. Uh, Hollywood, he, he he went over his bounds. Then all his dirty secrets came out. You know, what, 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 did he try to buy, they said he was trying to buy CBS? Well, he, um, not just CBS, so CBS, so you know, it's up under, uh, chain, so it's up under, uh, like CBS, Paramount, uh, Comcast, like all that's up under umbrella. So he mm-hmm. was trying to buy the whole umbrella, so meaning that he would own all of it and Mm -hmm. he was close to the deal you know Mm -hmm. the deal that did you know was doing them back dealings you know uh didn't have his face on it but had a company name was his company buying the company and you know that's the thing like every time you try to step out of that realm because the one thing that's most powerful than money is the media because you can make a propaganda when you when you have the ability to put something on TV when nobody has can tell you what to put on your streaming or how. Right. That's power. That's because power. you can control the narrative, you can control the education, you can control whatever you want to put out, that propaganda, mm-hmm. you can control it. Right. And that's power. And, you know, and right now, the only people really got that power mm-hmm. is what? The white man. Yeah, because, mm-hmm. you know, you got to think about BET, we're supposed to be black entertainment or we don't own that. We That's don't own it. Viacon. Right. Which, Viacon, I mean, which is an umbrella for, you know, VH1 and uh, the Viacon and everything else. Well, guys, I know we have gotten off the subject, but I, I really enjoy talking about that. And we're going to go into further depth of that and uh, the conspiracy of uh, our inter- black entertainers. But. To sum everything up about Oprah, yes, Oprah uh, has been accused of shady things that I believe we should take more seriously than we do. Oprah is not the friendly black woman that we have grown to love since her Oprah show, okay? (laughs) We just got to realize that All these things about Oprah, everybody ain't lying on Oprah, okay? And um, just like the others, uh, it will come out if it's true or not. So I am not here to tell you, hey, this stuff is true. I'm here to tell you it's uh, something to make you say, hmm, it might be true. Hmm. So, guys, I want to thank Brother John for being with us and giving him, giving us his uh, input on the uh, Oprah um, and the Maui fires and uh, Bill and Diddy and all the other stuff that we uh, got out of this video. We thank you and we hope that you will be back soon. First, I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. Thank you so very much. And if you, well, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, share it with someone. All right, guys. Uh, what y'all think? All right, guys. That's it for me. Thank you so very much for watching. And I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And it's always important. Be blessed, y'all.